All right, so we're going to go over how the new throw joint works. So you want to go into your menu and then enable it. And then whenever you make a finger point in either hand, it's going to show up. So if I make a finger point in my right hand, it's going to go onto my right. If I make one with my left hand, it's going to go onto my left. If I make one with both hands, it's going to go into the middle. And it'll always fall your head if you use the ghost with the constraint. So what you can do here now is you can let go of either of your hands by doing open hand and it's going to throw, which can be pretty cool. Um, it's kind of the whole point, I guess. Um, and you can open up both hands to throw it with both left hand, as you saw with left and then right hand to throw it with the right. And then we have a couple options here with quite a bit of options. So whenever it's in your finger here with either hand, normally with a normal spring joint, it's going to move with your head. This one doesn't do that. If you want it to, you can turn on follow head. Some people think it's cool. So you can turn that back on if you want. Um, and then we also have this multi throw mode, which you saw earlier, I can only throw one. Now I can throw up to five per. You can increase this with just a simple slider or a simple um, number change in the settings. Um, I've limited it to five so you don't super annoy people. And then you can just go ahead and toggle it off and make a finger point and they'll all go away. Then we also have this mode called shooting mode, um, which will let you shoot it if you make a finger gun. It's going to go onto the edge of your finger here. And if you make thumbs up from here, it's going to shoot. And then whenever you make finger gun again, it's not going to come back onto your finger unless you have multi throw. This is because of the way that this works inherently. If I were to let you shoot and then finger gun again, it would instantly disappear and it'd be really annoying. So in order to bring it back, you need to just make a finger point gesture again and you can shoot it. So just like that, right? And then you can do that on either hand. So I can finger gun here, I can point and then finger gun here and finger gun there, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, if you enable multi throw, you can see that I can shoot a bunch now and then I can still throw it. Um, now with index, uh, there's a little bit of an annoying feature with the index where if you open hand, but you let go of your thumb first, it'll do a finger point or it'll do a finger gun gesture, which will make it go to your finger. So I've mitigated that by adding a little bit of a delay in whenever you throw. So that way you don't accidentally do that. And I just realized I have too many here. So if you go above five, nothing will happen when you throw it. Um, anyway, so what I did here is I added a little bit of a delay in between um, uh, <laughs> finger gunning. So basically, if you ever, you know, you're spinning it around and you make a finger gun, it's going to take a little bit of time before it uh, snaps to your finger. So that's just... That's the reason, because with index controllers, sometimes you accidentally make a finger gun whenever you're opening your hand. Very annoying. Um, anyway, we also have these physics options here. So I can actually modify the physics of these um, in mid-flight here. So if I turn on no gravity, you can see all the gravity turned off for all of these. And then if I turn it on again, you can see it starts dropping again. And then I can turn on faster bouncing and to kind of get a better idea, Every time it bounces, it's going to get 10% faster. So you can see it's going to start going really, really fast. Um, now there's a hefty speed limit on here. So that way it doesn't fly out the map. Sometimes it likes to do that. If you don't want that, you can turn that off and it's going to get going really fast and you can turn it back on and it'll come back. And then you can enable tracers as well, which make the trails last forever. Um, and that'll do it on all the ones you throw and um, go ahead and enable shooting. We can shoot all that and then we have this new feature that's um hasn't been featured before called dual mode and basically what that does is going to spawn two of them so you have dual spring joints and everything works the same way except instead of it switching hands you have two so i can throw it and then if i enable shooting i can shoot them as well and if i turn on multi throw i can shoot them and throw multiple of them um so yeah that's pretty much how the system works um Dual mode is cool with shooting and all of that. You can just shoot a bunch and throw a bunch. And yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, join my Discord. Don't ask here in the in the description or the comments because I don't answer them. Um, just join my Discord in the description and go ahead and ask questions there. All right.